Come back within. And observe the one observing. Bring all your attention to the place from where everything you've ever experienced was decided. All the events, all the circumstances provided information. But then there was one element who converted all that information into experience. And that element is here with you now. The closer you come to realizing that element, the more control you have over the experience that gets created for you. That experience is the cause of your behavior. The experience is felt inside your body and the experience is understood inside your mind. The way your body feels, the way your mind understands is decided by something inside of you, something that's here now listening to these words. So in order to come closer, to this power within us. We want to silence everything else. If everything else will be in silence, then we can observe how from the infinite nothingness, based on a trickle of information coming in from the senses, the spirit within creates an experience, an experience that f that's felt physically within our bodies, an experience that propels us forward, that creates certain chemical interactions within the body in order to propel us to a specific future. A return to realizing that you are this power. You are the one experiencing the results. The one that's creating the results and the one that's experiencing the results is the same one. But different parts of this one are more understood than other parts. Different parts of this one are more under his direct control than other parts. But it's all the same one. 
the only one. The only one you can ever know. Everything external, everything the senses will report, can only teach you about the one that's interpreting that information. That's the only one you can ever know. Everything else is just information. All the people in the world cannot give you the access to that one unless you search for that one and discover for yourself. This is the only way to come close to what you already are. This is the only way to forget all the assumptions that we have created about who we are. And these assumptions are shackles to the soul because then she cannot be her natural self. And so the experience that gets created is based on what we believe. And what we believe is constantly changing, constantly evolving. We never, in any two moments, have the same beliefs. Because our biology, the place where we store our beliefs, is constantly evolving and constantly changing. Our understanding is evolving. Our way of seeing, our perspective is evolving. And so our beliefs are evolving. And so our experience is evolving. The more we can come back to that place where we are creating our own experience, the more we can befriend that place, the more we can realize our unity with that intelligence. The more we can allow our beliefs to reflect our true nature. Beliefs that reflect our true nature are not beliefs about information. There is no information that is our true nature. Our true nature is a way of being. Our true nature is when our essence awakens and knows itself. All information can only help us achieve that. But knowing that requires being that. Being you is the only way to know you. And you're the only one that can know you. Nobody else can ever know you. And if you are not known by you, then you're not known by anyone, which means that there's some lack of existence.
the existence is not fully manifested. The intelligence within the being is not aware of itself. And when there's lack of existence, then there's a form of damage that's happening. The behaviors, the speech is not fully aligned with life because there's not enough life. Return to life, return to reality, return to you. The only thing you can ever be, the only one you can ever know. And see the relationship that you have with you. Ever since you came into your body, you've had a relationship with yourself. And that resulted in how it felt to be you. So return to being aware of the importance of this relationship. The key to mastering your experience. Mastering your experience doesn't require anything external. Mastering your experience requires an internal alignment with the way that we are. to align with the way that we are is to remember the source of our experience. To forget the source of our experience is to forget our nature and it's to lose control of our nature. Because when we don't know that we are in control of ourselves, then we are not in control of ourselves. And so it's to remember who is in charge. Whose interest is being served by everything that's happening within you. And that awareness aligns the experience being created with the one it's creating it for. And so when we're concerned externally, then we are unconsciously affecting our experience. We're giving instructions to the spirit about the most important relationship, but we're doing it unconsciously. We're doing it while we're distracted with what's happening outside of our bodies. But the real event, the real effect on our lives, what's really taking place is going on inside our bodies. And this is the place we want to keep in our awareness at all times. What is taking place inside of us? Is anything being damaged inside of us by what's taking place? By the way we're reacting to it? By the way we're interpreting the situation?
because the internal event becomes a part of our future. The internal event is a permanent event because this moment only looks the way that it does because all moments before it looked the way that they did. Has anything changed in any of the moments previous to this one, then this moment would look different. And this moment, and the way that it is, is the building block for the future. Everything in the future is only going to be the way that it is because this moment is the way that it is. And so every experience, everything we create, is permanent. It's what we chose to be, at least for one moment. And that adjusts our potential for what we will be after that, what will be available to us after that. We return to this awareness, we become this awareness, we remember this awareness. It's like an exercise. We exercise moving the brain into this position where it remembers that everything inside of us is us. There's no one else. There's never been, and there can never be. It's us, it's our servants, it's our messengers, it's our spiritual property. And we can instruct them. We have instructed them. We continuously instruct them. This is why they're moving. <coughs> so as we exercise, as we build our familiarity with this concept with this position in the spiritual realm, it becomes more available to us, it becomes part of our decision-making process. Some of these decisions are made on an unconscious level way before a thought even materializes. And so the more deeply we allow our realizations to penetrate the unconscious, the more they will impact our entire personality, the more they will transform the way we interact with reality. And this is the goal of all wisdom. This is the goal of all growth. It's to completely transform the being from within. So that its true nature can be revealed within 
an accurate manifestation. This allows the spirit to fully embrace its own condition, its own power. As long as the spirit is in conflict, it cannot manifest in accordance with its true nature. Its power is limited. Its power is being used against itself. So as the spirit learns to unite, the spirit is creating manifestations that get along with each other. The spirit creates an experience that is enjoyable to the one experiencing it. And there's no limit to how far the spirit can go. The more it achieves wisdom, the more it comes closer to the source, the more the infinite options of existence become available to it, simply based on its intention. Because all structures, all existence, was created for the awareness that can know about this existence. And we human beings, we share in this awareness. This awareness is the purpose of creation. Everything that doesn't share in this awareness cannot be the reason why things were created. Because they're not experiencing the reality that exists. And so even a human being The human being has awareness, but doesn't necessarily share in this awareness, the divine awareness, the awareness of the one that exists. And so our awareness is growing. The intelligence wants to reside in our awareness. The intelligence is developing our body to make it capable of receiving this awareness. But only those who mature spiritually can participate in this awareness. This awareness is a very refined state of the human organism. And this state is the destiny of humanity. This state is a state that revives the body. And returns all the organs to their state of balance. So as we return to recognizing our true nature, we're returning to our source. We're returning to the source that is within all things. We are removing ourselves from the concepts created by humanity. And we are returning to the realization of what was created by the divine. this divine creation, this is our power. 
This is our capacity to act. This is what all of us are using in order to interact with life. And so we want our interaction with life to reflect our realization of what we are using in order to interact with life. We want it to reflect the reality that we are using a being, an entity, that we don't fully understand, and through that entity we're interacting with life. We want to keep that realization because we want to be very sensitive with that entity, so that while we're using it to interact with life, we shouldn't cause her damage. Bring back your awareness. To the source of your experience. And realize the nature of your experience. Realize who has been talking. Not only in words, also in sensations also in emotions, also in thoughts. Who has been talking the entire time, ever since you became aware of yourself? Because that one is here with you now. And that one is creating your experience now your sensations, feelings, thoughts, words, all from the same source, or from the same one. Realize yourself as that one. 